talking about what kids want or what we as educators want, we know that we want to create these ideal environments to unleash our kids' full potential. It's hard to care about graphing polynomial functions when your mom is on food stamps. I am the first generation of my family in this country. I'm part of a single parent family. My dad was incarcerated for 10 years for selling drugs. We had to learn how to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Growing up in Brooklyn, New York, I had to constantly be able to assess credibility. My whole life was an exercise of critical thinking, and that was before I even stepped into the school building. I fundamentally believe that genius is distributed equally. But too often, opportunity is not. And in this age of agility, opportunity is about giving our kids access to those deeper learning experiences that will unleash their critical thinking potential. We're here today to talk about leaving genius on the table. And this is a very personal subject to me. This is something that really resonates. And it's a conversation that is really kind of overdue within our education space generally and within our charter education space specifically. When I think about our journey to the start think law, where we've got this organization where we help teach critical thinking using real life legal cases in upper grades, fairy tales and nursery rhymes in lower grades, because there's a lot of shady characters in children's stories. Typically, 1% of kids that are starting out as high achievers are starting to fall off. We are leaving genius on the table, and that number is higher for kids on lower income brackets. So when I talk about gifted education as an equity issue, I'm not talking about some of the latest framework. I'm talking about something that's affecting a whole bunch of kids. If your kid is bringing home straight A's on a report card, it's our inclination to be happy about that. I would be suspicious about that. I would look at that as evidence that maybe your child is not being challenged to their full capacity. Because underachievement is a huge crisis in our community, where good enough is too often good enough. We want you to think about a future where critical thinking is no longer a luxury good. And if that excites you as much as it excites me, I want you to join me in integrating our vision into your work because that is how we will create lifelong learners who are ready to thrive in this age of agility.